Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoo, what a reception. Look, I can't tell you what an honor it is to be here. You know, I look around and I see so many familiar faces and I just feel blessed to have all of you in my life, truly. You know, my career wouldn't be the same without you all and I wouldn't be the man I am today without your friendship and your guidance. And with that being said, I'd like to give a little credit to myself here, okay? Lots of people told me I was crazy to go to the G League, but look at me now. <laughs> Guess I didn't make the wrong choice, huh? Now, a lot of you remember I didn't have the smoothest transition to the NBA. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, it was touch and go there for a second, but I had some very smart and talented people in my corner who helped me overcome some early hurdles. Coach G, man, where would I be without you, man? You were huge for me in those first few months when there was nothing but controversy every day or a new Kendrick Perkins video. Yeah, I'm, I digress. Number of war stories we have is insane, and I can't share them all, or we all be here forever. And I know some of y'all want to go home, but I just want to let you know, Coach, I love you, man. You're one of the greatest coaches and human beings this game has seen, and you made me laugh. You taught me how to be a better player, and you helped to deepen my love of music in a way that I didn't even think was going to be possible. So thank you, Coach. And if you all recall, I got questioned a fair amount early on about some of my interests outside the game. Now, I hate to boast, but how many Hall of Famers do you know with their own successful record label, huh? Is it fair to say that those concerns about my extracurriculars might have been overblown? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And enough for that. Let's bring it back to the hoops. Look, I'm not a vindictive man, but some of you guys might remember my first NBA coach not 100% believing in me when I was drafted. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And I'm not gonna name names, but I wonder what that coach thinks right now. I'd be interested for one of you reporters to ask him about that. And of course, a Hall of Fame career doesn't happen in a vacuum. In order to reach the highest heights, you gotta go up against the very best. You don't accomplish what I've accomplished in this game without the support of your friends and family. So, first of all, I'd like to thank all my teammates that I've been working with throughout my career. I've learned something from each and every one of you guys. Truly, thank you. And on a personal level, of course, I got to thank my parents, my mom, my dad. You guys literally were there since day one, which I guess is what happens when you create life. <laughs> but, but still, not all parents are created equal. And, you're the best I could have asked for, so I, I love you both so much, truly. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my best friend, my business partner, Ricky Bennett. Hey, man, you still, I'm still waiting on that Gatorade, but thank you, bro. You know, I had a hard time thinking about what I was going to say to you, bro. I mean, we've been running around causing trouble since Elementary school? Look at us now. Every dream we have for ourselves, we made a reality, and I, I couldn't put everything we shared into a speech like this, so I just, I keep it simple, and I just say, I love you, bro. And I couldn't have done this without you. And I'm sure I miss countless people who've helped me along the way. I mean, no man is an island, and that's especially true in this walk of life. But I don't have all night to list everyone who's ever had a positive impact on my life. So I'll close once again by saying thank you to my friends, my family, the press, the fans, my teammates, coaches, and everyone in between. I love you all. And thank you and have a good night. <laughs>